It's Friday night, and 16-year-old Elena has plans to be up all night. We, we leave at 2 a.m., and then we get there at 6, and I think my flight's at 10. Students at Dennis Franklin Cromarty High School in Thunder Bay are getting a one-week traditional break. In previous years, students had to wait until Christmas to visit home, a long stretch for these young people to be away from their families. Students wait with excitement within these safe, familiar walls, including Clara. I can't wait to go home. <laughs> I just all I can say, I can't wait to go home. <laughs> Her grandma was at the nursing station back home, sick the night before, leaving Clara worried. But she's okay. Oh, I'm, that's how I'm like happy to go home. A four-hour bus ride in the early hours of the morning to the airport in Sulukau, where they will wait hours more for airplanes that will finally deliver them home. North Caribou Lake is a First Nations community about 400 kilometers north of Thunder Bay. Accessible by airplane and winter road during cold winter months, this is Ontario's north. It's home to more than 1,000 members, including Clara. It's been more than six weeks since she left home for high school. Now she's back with her family. It's just that one spot to eat her dog. She's going to start barking crazy. <laughs> Clara's been at home for a week now. Good. It's awesome. Mm. I like it. I, I was feeling so homesick. Her grandma Beatrice also glad to see Clara. I'm not here anymore. I miss her. What do you miss? Her company. <laughs> Clara was raised by her grandparents. She went to the community's Christian school. I don't know, she's my granddaughter, it doesn't feel like it, it feels like my daughter. <laughs> but she never leave us all, all her life, that first time. Raymond has been a band counselor for seven years. He says it's important his grandchildren get an education because he didn't finish high school himself. A residential school survivor, he says a better education system is needed, but it's better than what it used to be. Yeah. Uh, I always try to tell my grandchildren, me was worse when I leave a good school the end of August until the end of June. Residential school. No phone calls, no ride, no money, nothing. Even Christmas always, I didn't even come home. Not even call my parents, not even there. But now they come home on holidays and everything else. Clara fills her time at home with family. She babysits her baby brother while her mom works in construction, building the community's houses. Uh, I don't know, I'm proud of her. Uh, I didn't really want her to go out there, uh, sorry, to go out there to go to school, but she has to. <laughs> it's the last night before Clara gets back on a plane to return to school. Weather and other conditions don't discourage a night game of soccer at what's called the drop-in. <laughs> it's almost time to go to the airport and tough reality sets in. Clara has to say goodbye again. I don't want to go. I just don't want to go. <laughs> her grandpa says he won't force her to return, but Clara eventually rallies around in time to leave. See ya. When are you coming back then? Christmas. 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 Families gather at the community's airport. A bittersweet time as parents and their children grapple with their absence and the precious time just spent together. This is the first time they let us come home for Thanksgiving. And I really miss my family. <laughs> I felt complete. It's really hard to see your daughter... Uh, leave and yeah i'm really glad that they came home this time i don't really want to go because i'm gonna miss my family and other people i'm excited for her. just she's growing up <laughs> and but uh, oh i'm scared for her too because then is not a safe city but she's getting educated and that's very, very important. The hope is this break gives the students the support and motivation needed to successfully complete the semester as they make the long journey back to a place far from home. 
hundreds of First Nations students sharing in their experiences of getting an education in Canada. Willow Fiddler, APTN National News, Thunder Bay.